Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, and assembled company, welcome to the World Story Ca Cafe. And tonight we are going on our magic carpet down to Morocco to the Cafe Clock, or at least a representative from the Cafe Clock. So, ladies and gentlemen, could you put your hands together on whatever device you're listening on, Facebook or whatever, and put your hands together and welcome Mohamed Ajam. All right. Hello, everyone from all over the world. My name is Mohamed. I am a storytelling apprentice, a part of the uh, Cafe Clock storytelling crew. It's a big honor to be a part of this program during this time of crisis, this corona, coronavirus outspread. And it's an opportunity here to take this platform to tell stories and everything and to keep you entertaining. Now, without keeping you waiting, let's just start, uh, go right to it. Now, each one of us has its own qualities, which makes us different from each other, am I right? And in this life, we get the chance to meet people with interesting and amusing qualities. And at the same time, we get to know others with dull and awful personalities. Karma, however, has no exception when it comes to deal with people. The rule is very simple. If you do something good, something good will happen to you. And if you do something bad, something bad will happen to you. That being said, a long time ago, there was a man who used to have an abnormality in his body, which is a hunch between his shoulders. But despite this misfortune in his life, this guy was so down to earth. His relationship with his mother was based on admiration and respect. Every time he goes out of the house or comes in, he kisses his mother's forehead as a way of showing how much she means to him. And this gesture is received with words of blessings and wishes for good fortune. The man's good reputation among the people was always ahead of him. He used to talk to this, he used to talk to that, to men, to women, children or elders. And overall, the people were kind to him and they really liked him. But his life changed forever when this happened. One day, he decided to go to the Hammam. Now for you guys, for those who wonder what the Hammam is, in the Moroccan culture, the Hammam is the equivalent of a sauna room, but instead it is a public place that the public uses it as a bath, a, a place where they can take a bath, okay? Now he picked his clean clothes, and the items he would need for bathing. And in the early morning, he, he went to the Hammam. When he got there, the owner of the place greeted him with a warm welcome. He said, what a great day this is gonna be. Come on in, hunchback man. The Hammam is clean and it's ready and you are the first person to come here today. He took off his clothes, he put them in the bag, and gave it to the owner so he could watch it over until he's done. He took the buckets he would need to fill the water with, and then he went inside. inside. At first, everything seemed normal in the beginning. But as soon as he got into the second room, he heard some noise when its source came from the third room. In his mind, the hunchback man thought, What's this noise coming from the inside? I thought I'm the first person to come here today. Is the owner joking me? With very careful steps, he went and see who is in there. And inside, there were some folk standing in the form of two lines. From one side, the man's line, and the other side were the women's line. And the words that they were saying, was as the following. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 
Thursday, Friday, Saturday. For the people who are alive now, can you sing along with me? Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. The hunch, now after he was done listening, he stepped inside and said, Couscous with the seven veggies every day. Come on, sing along with me. Couscous with the seven veggies every day. Couscous with the seven veggies every day. The hunch, the, the folk turned into his direction. And one of them said, would you look at that? This guy gave us three words that rhyme in the same way, that like ours. In response, one of them told him, what a good land and what a great this is when he came and gave us these words. From now on, one side will start saying Thursday, Friday, Saturday. In the other, in the other side, we'll start saying couscous with the seven veggies every day. But folks, how should we reward him? And as his reward, they pulled the hunchback man into them. They led him on the ground, splitting between his shoulders and removing the hunch from his back. They took it and they threw it at the wall. They sued the place they opened between his shoulders. They gave him a good bath. And when they were done, they told him, the hunch, the hunch has been removed. Now you can leave. You can imagine for how long he used to have that hunch between his shoulders. And for the first time, he is now able to walk like a normal person. When he went outside, the owner saw him walking in a straight, straight way, just like a normal person. He came to him and said, well, they say when you go to the hammam, you come fresh and new, but you took that phrase into a whole new level. In response, the guy told him, thanks to be to God, that's the outcome of my dutifulness towards my parents. The owner of the hammam told him, and you deserve it. You're a good man and everyone like you. He wore his clothes and then he went ahead home. When he arrived, his mother saw him and she said, son, what happened to the hunch that used to be in your back? He told her mom, I'm healed. I've met these people in the Hammam. Not sure if they were, not sure though, if they were humans or jennies. But I found them saying these words, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I told them, Chris Chris with the seven veggies every day. A word that rhymed in the same way like theirs. He showed her the sign of the scar in his back. And when she saw it, she said, well, whatever they are, these people are truly gifted. I can see only the scar in your back. And besides all of this, you are completely healed. But I guess that God has finally answered my prayers for you, my son. Now, ladies and gentlemen, remember when I told you that in this life, you get the chance to meet two types of people, the good ones and the bad ones, right? Here's what happened to our guy. Now, after he rested the bed, filled his tummy with some food and drinks, he went for a walk. On his way, he met this other hunchback man, but unlike him, this guy was a total jerk. None of the people liked him, not because he was a filthy person or the fact that he was dizzy and drunk. The man, however, was mean and he was always having words with the others, even with his own mother who hates him and wishes nothing for him but bad luck. When they met on the road, the hunchback man asked our guy, hey, what the heck happened to your hunch that used to be in your back? He told him, God healed me. The hunchback man told him, all right, don't screw with me. 
Either you tell me the truth or things will go south. The man had to speak just to avoid the trouble. So he told him, hmm, well, inside the man, I met these people who were saying these words Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and I told them something in back. So they removed the house from my back, and then I am completely healed. He answered him, well, they better heal me too. Otherwise, they are going to have some trouble when I come. He waited until the next day, and in the early morning, he went to the Hammam. When the owner saw him coming from afar, he said, oh, dear God, here he comes again. Ah, this is going to be a bad day. He came to the Hammam, drunk and grumpy, as always. He started taking off his clothes while mumbling something very loudly. The owner came to him and said, hey, 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 easy, what's the matter with you? The hunchback man told him, look, pal, either you mind your own business or shut up, or this place will go upside down on you. The owner had to step aside and said, God, save us from this, man, this man's evilness. He went on. He went on. Uh, he went inside, walking in a dizzy, dizzy way, kicking anything that was in front of him. And just before he got into the third room, he waited for a while to listen to what the folks inside were saying. Now, for all the people who are alive with us, can you join me and sing along with me, please? The folk were saying. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, couscous with the seven veggies every day. Come on! Thursday, Friday, Saturday, couscous with the seven veggies every day. One more time, come on! Thursday, Friday, Saturday, couscous with the seven veggies every day. Thank you very much! <laughs> now, after he was done listening, he stepped inside and said, Put some yogurt on! Put some yogurt on! Put some yogurt on! The folk turned into his direction, and one of them said, Put some yogurt on? That word doesn't match the words we are saying! What the heck is this guy? In response, one of them told him, He is an awful man with a bad reputation among the people. Heck, even his own mother hates him. Then another one asked him, so how should we punish him? This guy is clearly trying to ruin the harmony between our words. And as his punishment, they pulled the hunchback man into them. They laid him on the ground, splitting between his chest and adding the hunch that they removed from his friend before and added in front of him. Now he has two hunches, one in the front and one in the back. When they let him go, the hunchback man is unable to walk more, basically more difficult than he used to do before. Basically just like a penguin, just walking like this. When he went outside, the owner saw the state he is in now. He came to him and said, well, that's what you get for being a jerk. They added another hunch in front of you so you can no longer put a hand on someone. Now, bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, the equation in this story is very simple. Two different people with the same struggle, two different ways of treating their mothers and the others. The outcome will be two different fates. While one treated his mother and the others and in an awful way, he ended up with two hunches, one in the front and one in the back for the rest of his life. And while one treated his mother and the others in a kind way, he ended up healed and now he is able to work for the ones he loved, his mother, his wife, 
in his children. And until the end of time, our man lived happily with his family, happily ever after. Thank you very much. Yay. <laughs> Great story. Did you like the story, guys? Love yeah. the story. Love the story. Thank you very much. Uh, so, do you have another one uh, for us? No, I got this one for only for today because I was preparing it, translating it like for a whole, for a long time. Okay, it's, and it's always difficult to put something across. So, uh, well, well done on the translation as well. You know, that's, thank you very much. So, I have a funny story about this, 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 the translation about this story. When our like when our master storyteller gave us the story, the honor, the original translation of the song when it comes, it it's it is spelled like this: Thursday, Friday, Saturday, couscous, butter, turnip, not couscous with the seven veggies every day. So one day I had a performance in Cafe Clock, and I was looking for a way to make it sound like to rhyme like in the same way in the same rhythm. So what I said that I'll be a cook at that day and I will mix the whole ingredients. The whole, the three ingredients, when you, when you mix them together, you can get a couscous, a couscous with the seven veggies. I just added the, 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 the idea of the seven veggies instead of the couscous butter and turnip. So that's the story of the song that I, uh, the song that I sing in the story. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because when there's rhymes, if you're translating from one language to another, the rhyme changes. Yeah, yeah so. that's the problem with translation. You, you should not only tr make like a transliterate translation. You have to make it like understandable for the audience and the people who listen to the, to the story. Yeah, it's interpreting rather than a straight translation. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's brilliant. But well done. I... As 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 someone who tries to, as as someone who tries to learn other languages and fails miserably, I do a lesson every day, mm -hmm. but and I, yeah. I, I get nowhere. <laughs> but, uh, no, I have an like enormous admiration for people that speak more than one language. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I say I have. Uh, I really admire people that speak more than one language and i get to north africa and i find people are speaking maybe three four languages uh, well it depends because as you can see here in the case in Maroc uh, in morocco like english it can be like a third language it's not like a second language the second language here in morocco is french french yeah so basically like yeah like the idea of like uh, speaking more, more than two languages it's because like we have our like our mother mother tongue and the language the second language we learn in school like the idea of english here is just a, a third language that we can learn like after like elementary school but it's it's really great it's um and uh i i, I should be forever grateful to for the people in cafe clock because when I sat, when I went there years, about four or five years ago, and I sat in the corner with the Hajj, and someone was translating his into English for me and my story into Arabic for him. And we sat like 12 men in the corner. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, it was great. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank uh, you very much, Mr. John. It was a pleasure. And please, and please come visit us on the 15th. Sure, I will. Sure, I will, uh, Mr. John. Okay. And Ali, good to see you. Good I'll to see, see you, you again. Too. I'll see you again in about an hour. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank, Thank, you, you, Thank you, Mohammed. Another round of Thank applause you. for Mohammed Ajam. Thank you very oh. much, guys. And if you're listening on other devices, pop pop to the, the site. There's a hat there. Um, and just pop whatever you like into that, and that goes straight to the cafe clock, and they share it out amongst the storytellers in, uh, in, 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 
from the, in Morocco and or that come to the the clock tellers because uh, there's uh, there's no furlough in Morocco and there's no social security so everyone's yeah. relying on what they earn so you know pop something in the hat <laughs> thank you no